Look, I get it. A lot of people have DJI 03 and Moonlight 4K systems from Walksnail at this point, even HD Zero, but there's a lot of people out there still rocking analog systems, and well, what if I tried to edit analog video like it came from an action camera or even one of those more fancy digital systems? Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so we're going to skip a lot of the fluff in this one, and we're going right into the full-on editing process in DaVinci Resolve. Now, this is Studio 18. It's important that you know that because one of the things that we're going to do in here you can't do on the beta version. It has to be the studio version, and that's lens correction. Now, before we get there, you can go back expo facto and do lens correction in something like GyroFlow, but we're going to get to that point later and we're going to skip gyro flow and we're going to use it all in davinci resolve studio so here's where we are we've got the video i've already got it kind of edited down as far as time now this is from a nice fun race that we did in the woods um at a friend's house benny beans now here's the thing i'm gonna hit play i'm gonna go ahead and let this loop here for a second and, and the idea here is this is with the predator 5 nano and this is what it looks like whenever you're flying through the fpv cam and you want it to look like this so you can get a whole lot of view but it's got that nice i don't say nice it's got that fisheye effect and you kind of want to get rid of that and give it more of that super viewy look like that gopros have and i'm we're going to kind of get to that so first thing you want to do is um, notice we got OSD elements on the screen and that's just the reality of uh, analog. So if going forward you want to do this with your freestyle footage, which is what you typically want to do. I just have race footage that we're working with here. You want to minimize the uh, OSD as much as possible. If you put it in the corners, it'll kind of go away and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. So your first thing that you want to do is you want to get this to a nice uh, 16 by 9. You want it to fill the screen. 4 by 3 is great for flying. 16 on has that more cinematic look. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the zoom. Now you can do two, one of two ways. You can do this overall zoom where you just punch it in and boom, it's all gone. Or you can take it back and you can unlink these two by hitting the little chain there and you can go full width there. So we can make it full width. Now it's all stretched. I mean, it is what it is. You can roll with that, but you notice um, when you go through and add the next step, it's kinda gonna be a little wonky. But and we're, so we're going to come back to that one. So you can do here and you can get rid of the OSD, what have you. We're going to leave it back at one. I'm going to go to this next step here. Lens correction. So you can let it analyze it. But what I found is probably the best setting is 0.3. So hit 0.3 and bam. Now you look, it did stretch some of this stuff out of view. So we're going to undo it and redo it. Notice the tree looks more straight like a tree should, right? It's not quite bowed out and fish-eyed looking. So now it's like that. <laughs> I got to remind you, you're still working with really low quality analog footage. So every time you go in, the quality goes down. But we're just going to, it is what it is. I mean, it's analog footage. We're having fun with it. Don't, you're not selling this. This is for you. All right. So now we got, now you see that you can see the effect being warped here. So you got, my voltage here in the middle, you can see my Mr. Meg is still kind of showing here. So we want to go back up here to my Y coordinates, and we're going to punch in a little bit. Now, you can leave it right here if you want to leave that voltage on there, whatever. Um, or if you want to punch all the way in and get rid of it. Now you look, if you look, we're right back where we were if we just linked these two together. So we're just going to leave it there just so you can see it. Now, what does that look like? Let's see. We're going to start back here at the beginning. I'm going to hit play. And, oh, look at that. Even though it's still analog, it's got a much more, ah, I guess, GoPro-like, like action cam-esque look to it. We know it's analog. I'm going to say that a hundred times. It is what it is with analog, but this is super, super fun looking. Um, just to kind of like break it back, let's go here. And uh, I'm going to un I'm gonna undo the transform. Let's see, you got the lens correction in there. Now let's take the lens correction out. Yeah, so there it is. Looks like typical... Yeah, just what you're used to. Boom, lens correction. Let's straighten that out. Transform. Bam. There we go. Look how fun that is. Mm, not quite good enough, though. What do we want to do next? We want to get some color in here. I'm going to go over here. All right, so again, you're going to need... Let's just go back here to the beginning. This is what you're starting with. We just want it to pop a little bit, right? So we're going to give... Uh, let's see, what can I do here? Mm, if I go temperature, brighten it up. Look at that. So leveling it out just a little bit. We're going to go... Midtone. I'm gonna get some mid mid tone in there. Let me give me the extra contrast. 
Ooh, go my shadows a little bit higher. Saturation up a little bit. Let's go 60. Ah, look at that. Had a little bit of fun with the colors. Now we got this right here. Bam. There we are. That's where we're at with our footage. This is what we're seeing. It's a little cooler. Like, I mean, look. Let, yeah, look, look, I'm not... Again, you're not going to blow anybody's mind, but if you're having fun, you're out flying, you're filming tiny whoops, freestyle with analog, racing with analog, and you want to spice it up a little bit and not have it just look like goggle view, this is a good way to do that. And look, this is a fun, fun looking video. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of wrap this one up. We're going to shoot this over to a side by side so you can see the original and the edited version next to it. Look, if this has inspired you at all, let me know down in the comment section. Like, I just think that people should have more fun with the footage that they do have rather than just being all wrapped up with having the highest quality, crispiest stuff out there. We'll, we'll work with those kind of videos later, especially with this project that I got right here. I'm calling this the uh, light burner. Yep, that's a prong mount on a YAM on a light switch V2. It's kind of my knockoff version of an Afterburner 5. So if you've seen the short on that, it's going to be a lot of fun. So stick around for that one. And you know what? Enjoy the rest of this video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Hey, man, how the hell you doing?